Nobody pays attention to the man wandering down the streets in an alcohol-soaked days. This locals say isn't an unusual sight. Over a year after the government launched a crackdown on illicit alcohol, the cloud of smoke that hangs over Shauriako estate in Embu town, telling a tale of a menace that hasn't been eradicated despite the government's efforts. Many low-income earners here still find solace in illicit and second-generation brews. But after last year's crackdown, brewers are more cautious. The illicit liquor that was once poured down the drain angrily and the bottle smashed is quietly creeping back in many parts of the country. It was found out that there were 177 different types of illicit brews circulating. Uh, this number we was whittled down to 21. So today it is the 21 that are allowed. Yani uko na mtoto lakini amemaliza mpaka chuo lakini yaviki kwa nyumba yeye yeah, analala kwa vilabu sasa na na hudumu na pesa sa sa mzazi sasa ni sema namna gani According to the Interior Ministry, the three regions most affected by illicit liquor in the country are the Rift Valley, Nairobi and Central Kenya. Efforts to eradicate the brew in these areas, they say, have been hampered by a combination of factors. Among them, the constant shifting of locations by brewers. The large profits involve pitting the brewers against the authorities. So you find that in certain areas on a weekend, you realize that uh, there is some illicit brew circulating. But once it is heated, it goes under. So now it is a cat and mouse. Locals, however, blame the government for failing to put in place long-term interventions after the initial flurry of activity. Many rehabilitation programs, which came up during that period, now closed. I the local administration left to police the regions. Their raids only unearthing a fraction of the illicit liquor on sale. And I've given uh, some specific direction to the county commission of central, uh, all the county commission of central uh, region, to ensure that uh, that business is is is, is uh, um, completely removed. A year after the great crackdown in settlements across the country, brewers continuing to fuel a problem that doesn't quite seem to go away. Those involved in the fight against illicit brews say the trade cannot simply be eliminated at once. The new operations cropping up, meaning there is need for sustained efforts. Wilkinson Abwa, Citizen TV in Nairobi.